What's going on, High Society? Welcome back to another Rank Battle video. More Discord suggestions from the coaches. Uh, we wanted to see Charizard, and somebody else suggested Buzzwole, so we're taking a Sun Team with Torkoal, Charizard, and Venusaur. Throwing Buzzwole on there, we got Togekiss for some redirection and stuff, and we got Thunderous just to have another physical attacker and to protect that buzz wall against intimidates you know you don't want to intimidate a defiant thunderous so we got a couple uh dynamax obviously obviously charizard if you go hard sun thunderous of course is a good option and i'd be interested to see buzz wall but i think buzz is going to be more of just like a end of the game kind of sweep from there um against trick room torkoal's fine Buzzwool's not the fast thing, so that should be fine. Hopefully we can stall it out. We got a couple protects here, and Togekiss can hopefully stall some stuff out. Going to be a little tough against the Trick Room, but let's get into battle, and then we'll see how we go. All right, guys, we got our first battle of the night. Banana. Banana pajamas. All right, let's see here. Interesting team, so they got Slush Rush, Dragzolt, Garchomp. I assume Trick Room Stack Attacka, but this is just this team's like all over the place. So I'm assuming they're gonna wanna start off with Slush Rush. So what we can do we can keep Torkoal in the back to switch in against the Slush Rush. So I kind of like going Charizard and Charizard. I kind of want Buzzwole in the back too. I don't think we want Thunderous here. So I'm thinking Charizard, Venusaur, with Torkoal and Buzzwool in the back. Although actually, Togekiss isn't half bad against his team either. Yeah, we're gonna bring Buzzwool. It's probably not the best. Probably should have gone Togekiss, but. We'll see what happens. So we're going Torkoal in the back that way. Um, if he leads off with the Hail, we can swap Torkoal in. And then if he tries to counter that thing that we would lead Torkoal, and he can swap the Hail, and even when we swap in, we'll still be fine. So let's see. Garchomp, Zapdos. Okay, interesting. So we can... Swap out into Torkoal here and just try to put Zapdos to sleep. I think is fine. This is what I mean about like Togekiss might not have been half bad, like half of his team was weak to fairy. Um, and doesn't look like they had a lot of ways to like power through the Togekiss. So we could have, you know, kind of like follow Mead and just soak some stuff up. Dazzling Gleam would have done some nice damage. Let's see what he goes for here. Okay, so we're setting up the Sun here. That's going to allow our Venusaur to outspeed. Is he Dynamaxing anything? Okay, he is. I'm assuming that's the Garchomp. Which is annoying, but not the worst. Okay, it's the Garchomp. So he shouldn't be going for a Quake against us. We do have the Stricken Berry on Torkoal. So even if he did try to go for a Quake, we'd be okay. So we should get the Sleep Powder off here. Okay, let's see. What Garchomp goes for. Rockfall. Okay, this will do some good damage against Torkoal. 
We are able to soak that up though. So I'm thinking we're going to sleep the Garchomp here. Uh, we don't have the sun though now, which is very annoying. Probably means we won't. That was good on him with the rock fall overriding our sun. So we're going to go into Buzzwool here to conserve our sun with the Torkoal. Try to get the sleep off. Hopefully the uh, Zapdos will sleep one more turn for us. Because we can just swap back around. Get the sun back up. Okay. That's good. Quake. There's a Venusaur. Oof. You barely survived that. So now we'll get the sleep off onto the Garchomp. Alright, so now we know Garchomp will have one turn of sleep here. Venusaur is probably going down here. Oh, it hangs on skin of its teeth. Okay, so. I want to try to take out this Zapdos. Most likely, it'll probably wake up here. But we gotta do whatever damage we can against it. Okay, it woke up, so it's probably going to Brave Bird. Yeah, so this is unfortunate. So we're going to have Torkoal Charizard in the back here. Let's see how much this Sludge Bomb can do. Yeah. So we'll get the sun back up. We can protect with Torkoal. Garchomp's going back down. So we're going to max Zard here. And I think it's just most effective to attack the Garchomp here. Do I care, like, if Torkoal dies? I don't think so. Because he's, he's not going to do anything for us anyway with his speed tier. I just want to get up the Wildfire to guarantee the two-hit KO. Um, again, hopefully the Garchomp stays asleep. Zapdos, Brave Bird, into Torkoal. That's fine. Garchomp stays asleep, so unfortunately it's 3v one so I mean that's not good we did all right with our sleep turns too like we got at least minimum two on each um, that was a good rock fall on their part of course
Yeah, Togekiss in the back was definitely way better than Buzzwool. I think that's where we, you know, the noticeable spot where we slipped here. Because having that... Okay, so we can try to get another turn of sleep here. Snack attack will have a rock move. Nothing is very effective against him. I think all we're doing is hoping for another turn of sleep. Okay, swaps out Garchomp, so we targeted the right slot. Nine tails to overwrite the sun. Okay. Let's see how much this wildfire does. The the wildfire will take it out. Rock slide is gonna kill us. Yeah. We had to dodge that rock slide. You know, ten percent chance, but. Alright, so yeah, having Togekiss in the back would have been better there. Buzzwold didn't do anything. Charizard tried its best. Um, not having the solar power there at the end. Um, they did what we kind of thought they would with having the hail in the back. Let's see if we can find another game here, though. Alright guys, be right back when we find a game. Alright, we found one pretty quick actually. It's like two seconds. Let's see here. Okay, they also have sun, but they have more of a trick room at the back. So. Thunderous seems okay to prevent their Landorus. Buzzwool doesn't seem very good at all, really. Like, I wonder if they bring their son. So, are they going to go straight with uh, Trick Room here? Kind of want to do, like, Thunderous Charizard to give me options. Venusaur in the back. As between Togekiss and Torkoal. Hey, they don't have any redirection. I don't mind Torkoal in the back just to fight against their Trick Room. And, uh, Venusaur and Torkoal in the back. If we end up having, like, they want us to have Trick Room at the end, we have that. We can sleep their Dusclops because they don't have any redirection. Let's see what they lead off with. Dusclops, Grimmsnarl. Okay, so they are going to try to go hard on the Trick Room. So I kind of want to keep Thunderous in the back. This, hmm. Yeah, let's just do something like this. Um, I 
This might do like half or so to the dust clops. So I'm assuming they were gonna fake out into one of these, presumably, presumably the Thunderous, to guarantee the Trick Room. Um, they could set up a screen, but I think the fake out is a lot more uh, important. Okay, so they do go for the light screen, so maybe this will do like a third of the damage would be nice. Maybe we can crit. I think that was a crit. <laughs> that had to be a crit. That wasn't a crit. That did a lot of damage for not being a crit. Like, that did a lot of damage. Oh my god, Dusclops barely hangs on. That's crazy that Dusclops survived. Well, now we have a... Uh, Eruption and I don't want to airstream here. So I guess we'll just do this again. I mean, this will just KO both of them. I mean. Oh, Grim Grimson was like, what was up with that Dusclops? It took so much damage. Like, I don't understand how, how it took that much damage. Okay, so they have Trick Room up for three more turns, but now it's a 2v4. We have Venusaur and Thunderous in the back. Um... So we want to make sure we keep Torkoal around. We have Sun for two more turns. Okay, there's Glastria. Torkoal will be... slower than both of these, so... I actually don't mind the eruption and probably a worm wind here. Like if we can take out Landorus, that'd be really good. I doubt we will, because um, I assume this will probably be like Rock Slide and uh, like Max Hailstorm or something. So it should be Glass Gear. No, this looks like Landorus maxing. So Glastrier might not survive this eruption. Yeah, this is Landorus maxing. Okay, so let's see. This might be Max Quake into our Torkoal then. But we do have Shuka, so we should survive pretty easily. But we should get the eruption off here. Oh, Glastrier protected. Good protect on their part. Oh, this will still do a lot of damage. AV? Special defense goes up. I almost wonder now if I should protect with Torkoal this time. White herb, interesting. Okay, Charizard is babby for me. I kind of want to swap it out just to reset its stuff. Let's take a look at what we got going on with so two turns left to trigger him. I thought there was only one left. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. And two turns of sun.
protect Torkoal and swap out into Thunderous. What's this doing? Rockfall? Okay, that is kind of unfortunate. Because we will not survive this. Whoa, we do barely survive. Now the sand is up, though, which is bad. Thunderous goes down. So we can... We don't have Protect on either of these last couple slots. So I think we go Venusaur here, and we're going to swap out... for Charizard so we get the sun back up. Uh, we have Fire Blast on Charizard. We should really have Heat Wave. That's unfortunate. So what I'm hoping is he goes for another high horsepower into there. And I'm going to assume he's going to go for a Max Airstream. Let's see what he goes for. Might also try protecting. Ice go crash. Oof. And then what? Rock ball? Could just be another rock ball. Yeah, Rockfall was safe. Okay, I mean, well played. Alright, we're over 2 now. Not good. Not good. I don't know what we could have done here differently. Felt like we started out all right. Mm. I think if we had done like Venusaur. To start. Like preventing the trick room was probably the the way that we won. We almost took took out that Dusclops in one hit though, which is very surprising. And we're losing points. Alright, we'll be back when we find another battle. Alright guys, we're back. So, hopefully we don't go over 3 here. Um, I would definitely put Heat Wave on this Charizard though. I don't know why I have Fire Blast on this one. Okay, this is a pretty standard team. This is like Wolf Glick's team. Buzzwool seems good against the Weezing Reggie Gigas, so. Buzzwool. If he goes. Dragapult, Colossal, what do we do? Okay, we gotta go Venusaur, Torkoal, I think, and try to sleep some things and put like Buzzwool and So 
until we get our Charizard in the back. Very weak to Colossal here. Um, yeah, we'll just go Charizard. What we can do is we can sleep. Whatever he tries to do. Okay, Dragon Ball Regieleki. Okay, interesting. Well, we can sleep the Dragapult, I guess. I don't think we're... Even in the sun, I don't think we outspeed the Regieleki. We can sleep... Eruption might KO Reggie Lucky. I mean, Eruption's a strong attack. Could be light screen from Reggie Lucky. Let's see. So with this, I'm assuming Colossal's in the back. With Urshifu. Okay, Electro Web. Ooh, Venusaur avoids. That's super nice. Oof. That did a lot of damage to Torkoal, though, so now our eruption will not be so good. Ah, oh, but then the Dragapult avoids it. Wow. So, we luck out, and then the luck just comes back to us, and no good. Alright, so... Uh, so I think... We Earth Power... And we Protect. <laughs> Probably gonna be like another Electro Web. Yep. Looks like this time it connects on both. Venusaur will soak this up pretty nicely, so. Now I assume the Phantom Force comes out. Okay. So now Dragapult is the fastest thing, which is bad. Which means he could go, yep, Colossal. So, the first turn would have been so good. I mean, if he hits that and does his thing, then it's kind of the same thing. So, I mean, it all evened out. But, still, like, we got the miss on the first one and, and screwed everything else up. I almost want to Dynamax the Torkoal here, but I don't even think it survives a Surf. So, I don't even think it's worth it. Yeah, we're probably going to go 0 for 3 here now, missing that sleep. Like, comes the Sir. So, we'll get one Earth Power off, but that's about it.
With this though, Torkoal will survive. Not that I think that really matters. Could Max flare us here, which makes me want to Dynamax. So, what other attacking moves could this? Dragapult have because that surf didn't do too much to the Torkoal, so I don't know if it would KO here. I mean, it probably would. Like, does he go for another surf? Like, Max Flare into the okay, Dragon Darts. gonna do a lot we're already in the sun we do have I was like we do have a salt vest but that don't matter so oh well guys oh for three um I don't know I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a break from the uh Discord suggestion and just use a good team and grind up to Master Ball before I go back to them. So I'll probably do it after the weekend because it won't take me long to uh, grind up to Master Ball. But I don't know, I've just been kind of throwing these teams together. And yeah, so. I don't know, what do you guys think was the problem here? I'm trying to use some off meta stuff, so maybe that's it. Like, if we had, like, Tailwind in the back, that could have been huge. Now, I have to look at that. Maybe Sun isn't the way to go right now. Regieleki is just too fast. It can Electroweb. We saw there. Um, Colossal's running around and destroys half your team with Sun. So, I had a lot of success with Rain Team, so maybe I'll do that. Um, if I find that I'm doing well with them, I'll record them, but... As always, guys, thank for watching. Stay classy. Tomorrow night's the draft for Season 4. Can't wait for that. Comment down below if you think there's a Pokemon we should pick up. We're the number 15 pick, so we're kind of towards the end. But I think there'll still be a lot of good stuff left over. So, see you guys next time.